This summer, we've set out on a journey through Europe to find some of the best undiscovered holiday destinations for families. Whether it be breathtaking beaches, mouth-watering food, or amazing attractions. Come with us on our journey as we share with you all of our adventures and discoveries. Run. I love it. Oh, she got it on the wave. Can you talk to me? And it's added an hour, an hour and a half onto the journey. <laughs> By 45 a.m. day 12. Yeah. We're off to France this morning. Bethany is getting prepared. Really good. <laughs> And they just made an announcement don't forget to turn your clocks forward an hour because of the time change. We made forgotten. all our plans yesterday and didn't allow for the time change. So we've now lost an hour of the day. An hour of our life. Well, we'll, we'll get it back when we go back. If we ever make it back. Okay, if we never make it back, we've lost an hour of our life. Are you planning on killing me while I'm here? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, where are we? In France. Where? I don't know. Where are we? I don't know. Where are we? At the beach. Okay, so Entrita is also a place where lots of impressionists came to paint, particularly Monet painted one of here of little sardine fishing boats. This is it. This is a picture of it, just because it's so beautiful. So you stood where Monet stood. I stood where Monet stood. Okay, so this is the rock up close. It's like Harry Rocks and Dirtle Door combined. It's really beautiful. Lovely little restaurants and bistros all over the place. So as we've been walking around France, we've noticed how much all the French love these white shutters and have them all on their houses. Some of them are rebellious and have green ones. I know. It's disgusting. It's disgusting. Uh, Why only do white you want ones. Green shutters. So, uh, now we're finished with dreadful hockey skills. <laughs> we're gonna go climbing. Laughing up the mountain. Stink. <laughs> we'll not be laughing. Wow. You okay? Oh, I 
Look at it. Look at it. You were first. How are you? You seem a little tired. You had a baby on your neck the whole way. Yeah, it was further than I thought. <laughs> you stop at such a speed. Let's go. Here we go. Old Harry, back in England. This is his French cousin. Down there. Francois. Francois. <laughs> this is Francois. <laughs> this is Etretta from above, not heaven, just <laughs> up the hill. And on the hill at the other side, we've got Notre Dame de la Garde. We're on a train. Where are we going? Don't you don't know. Yes, if you're not able to walk up the, the hill, though, this will go up both for I wish they'd said that before I ran up one. Yeah, we didn't know that. Portaloos. You have to pay for the Portaloos. I've never heard of paying for the Portaloos before. Yeah. Should we sell our car and buy a train instead? <laughs> and that is buy a little train. So we're now on the other hill. This is Notre Dame de la Garde. Uh, also, there is a giant statue. I have no idea what it is, but it's quite fancy. The free shuttle to Mont Saint Michel. 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 There's okay. there's a free shuttle, so you just go to the parking and hop on for free. And they run till midnight. What castle do you think it looks most like? The Beauty and the Beast. I'd say Beauty and the Beast. Cinderella. No. Which one is it? Ready? Okay. You ready? You ready? Especially with the bridge, the look. That's Rapunzel's castle. And that's this castle. It's based off the same kind of. I forgot about that castle on the tunnel. I thought it was like the tunnel that goes down. So, this is actually where Disney took it from. And that's this is the bridge that. Max, Max, Max. This is the bridge that Max runs across. That's tangled. So you can break in here at night and steal children. She's out the window, she's going to start singing. <laughs> what do we think, Eve? I love it. Go up to the top yeah. and let your no, hair down. No, I'm most like her. I wish I was longer. I Like Harry Potter. It does look a little bit like diagonally. What is this, Bethany? Come to Castle and I am Rapunzel. You are Rapunzel. And there's a hole in the wall. Guys, look at the street. This is my house. Here. This is your house. This is up at the top of the castle. Well, as top as you can go without paying. It's a What do you think, Gabriel? Um, You're taking maybe. a lot of photos. Yep. Go right there, Bethany. Let go, let go, let go. There we go, there we go. I think this place is pretty magical. It is magical. 
magical. I think it's got to be one of the best castles I've ever seen. I, I agree. So it's six euros fifty for three scoops of ice cream, or twenty eight euros for something off the dessert menu. Yes. Yeah. So do you think it's cheaper than there? Uh, how big is the dessert? I don't know. A whole cheesecake? It must be. That's a lot. Bring a packed lunch. <laughs> but definitely come because it's magical. Magical, but very expensive. I'll never think Disney's expensive anymore. I'm going to buy the kids all meals at Disney I know, next actually, time. it's true. Disney's actually pretty decently priced. I've never said that before, but this is. This but coming extortion. to France makes you realise Disney's decently priced. Yeah. <laughs> Tides back in. I'm thinking it looks good. It does look good. It looks really good surrounded by water. Yes. Just like Rapunzel Castle. It's like it's like Rapunzel's castle. It is like Rapunzel's and, um, castle. Rapunzel. Now we're just waiting for them to light it up. Does it look good? Look, look, some just came on, some green ones. Which ones? At the, the ones top? at the top and some yellow. Do you want to sleep here? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'd happily sleep here. Uh, not outside. There's so many places. It's I so bet beautiful. you could just find somewhere to curl up. I bet you could. Should we go back, get our sleeping bags and come back? We could just day 13. I swear I've been it's... saying 12 all day. <laughs> well, you've been wrong all day. <clears throat> it started at 5 a.m. Crossing the tunnel, it's now 25 to 1, so it's a long day, but it's been a really good day. It was awesome. Easy for me, because I don't have to drive. I mean, if you were coming to France, the time we went, Etretat was actually really Etretat. nice. Oh yeah, it's beautiful, yeah. It was really nice, it was a really old fashioned town, uh, there was plenty there, loads of overpriced cafes. Uh, it was really good. I really enjoyed it. And it actually would have seemed really good had we not spent the second half of the day at Mont Saint Michel. Yeah, Mont Saint Michel. Sometimes Absolutely in life, absolutely beautiful. You come across some things that just, just amazing. And that one you could see from thirty miles away. Literally, we're on the motorway, thirty miles away. And I just see it in the distance and I couldn't believe it. What a sight. Yeah. And then as you get closer, it just gets better and better. It is amazing that you can see it so far away. Yeah. So distinct. I mean, think how excited people get when they see the Disney castle. Then think of that, but actually being a real place that really had that history. And that's Mont du Michel. It was amazing. Like a magical place. The kids loved it. I because think that's the place they love most. Except feeding the piglets. Except feeding pigs. You you can't beat feeding them. They may have, <laughs> they may have enjoyed that more actually. I didn't ask them directly, so last we'll, tomorrow we'll have to ask tomorrow. But yeah, they they loved it. They just thought it was magical. Long day, but if you're ever in France, it's worth going out of your way for. It's yeah. a it's a once in a lifetime. We'll find maybe we'll find another one like that. Anyway, magical for adults, magical for kids. And the place we've gotten to, although we did it in the dark and struggled to find our way, is brilliant. It's brilliant. We'll show it in the morning. We'll yeah. take your tour on where we're staying. The kids can show it. Good night. <laughs>